welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here it is Wednesday so it is another what I eat in a day on WW I have a super fun day for you we have all my food a fantastic dinner recipe an unboxing a diesel and Lola there's just a lot of fun coming your way so if you are new to my channel make sure you are subscribed and that your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. And of course, if you love what I eat in a day, give this one a big thumbs up. Check out that description box down below for all of the links and discount codes to my favorite things, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join our community over there. So without further ado, let's jump into this what I eat in a day on WW. All right, here's breakfast for this morning. It's simple, I am meal prepping, so I usually like to have a pretty simple breakfast when I'm doing that. I had this yesterday after Jazzercise, and it's so good and so easy. So it is one slice of the Trader Joe's sourdough bread. This, I have to say, is the best sourdough bread I've ever had. It is so good, it's so sourdough-y, is that a word? But I have one slice of this. On this, I have one eighth of a cup of the Trader Joe's light shredded Mexican blend cheese, just a little bit on the base of the bread, two scrambled up eggs, and then I'm having a big cup of cantaloupe because this cantaloupe from Imperfect Foods is the best cantaloupe I've ever had. If you're interested in Imperfect Foods, in the description box, I have $10 off your first box. Help prevent food waste, get some great deals on conventional or organic produce, lots of food options, including meats, shakes, coffee you name it they have it there highly recommend so i have three points for the bread one for the cheese zero for the eggs zero for this delicious cantaloupe so this is only four smart points you guys and then of course i'm starting on my first lemon water of the day so i'm gonna dig in for this four smart point breakfast hey guys i know this is not the most attractive look but i'm not getting ready for this video I, it is sunday i'm meal prepping doing things around my house but I wanted to hop on and let you guys know that it's time to take my greens. You guys know I love the My Adventure to Fit greens. I like to show these in my videos because I get a lot of questions about these on how to order them. Do I like them? I love them. I take them every single day. I do dry scoop them. I'm going to do that here for you. If you're not comfortable dry scooping, again, just mix it in with some water and drink it down. So it's time for some daily greens. So that's how I do it. I put a little water in my mouth, a scoop of the greens, more water, and I just swallow and swish and swallow and swish. It actually tastes really good. It tastes like sour candy, kind of. It's really delicious. I'll link these down below for you guys. You know that I love the greens and I am obsessed with the pre-workout. I take the pre-workout before Jazzercise every single time. And I also have the Cal Meg. I'll insert a picture here of that. It's a calcium magnesium supplement. It tastes delicious. I mix it in with a little bit of warm water and drink that every day as well. So I love my adventure to fit. It's a small business, go supporter. Everything will be linked down below. It is kombucha time. It is 1030. I'm actually not hungry for a morning snack. Breakfast kept me nice and full, but I do want to have some kombucha. So I'm actually going to have this entire bottle. It is three smart points, which is insane to me, but only 50 calories. So this is going to be basically my morning snack. Good morning, everyone. Oh, honey, are you cozy? Yeah, you look so pretty. You're in the sun. You got your blankie. Hi, bud. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, everybody. I'm glad you guys are nice and cozy. It's my favorite time of the month. Well, one of my favorites, and that is when my Miss Muscle Box 
comes. You guys know I just recently signed up for the subscription service. This is a fitness box. It is amazing. It is $29.99 a month. You receive a piece of workout clothing every single month. I have loved everything that I've gotten. I've worn them several, several times. In fact, I just wore the Hustle for the Muscle tank top yesterday to Jazzercise. You also get some snacks to try, which are great. You can try some healthy snack options and then generally a piece of fitness gear or a full size product of food, healthy food. So let's dig in to this month's Miss Muscle Box. Ah, it's like the angels come down from heaven. I'm so excited. So it looks like in this box, we got the I am possible. And this is a shaker bottle. The impossible shaker retails for $25. So this shaker bottle is enough to pay for the entire box. It is a stainless steel shaker, which is amazing. I actually need a new shaker bottle for pre-workout for Jazzercise. So I can't wait to see this. And then on the back generally is the clothing item that you receive. So apparently we're getting the run the world tea. Oh, how fun, $30 value. So right there, we're $55. So we've more than paid for this box before we even get into what food items we receive for the month. You also receive a little catalog and in here basically are food plans and workouts for I think an entire month. They give you the word, yes, they give you workouts for an entire month. To be honest, I don't utilize this just because you guys know I go to Jazzercise, but if you need some workout ideas for the gym or even home workout ideas, amazing. And then on the back, they also give you some additional workouts and generally some recipes as well. So that's nice, but let's get into the good stuff. So this I'm assuming is the shaker bottle. Oh my gosh. I. I'm obsessed. This is so cute. So it's kind of a salmon pink color. It says I am possible. Here is the drink spout at the top. And then it looks like it is complete stainless steel on the inside, which is amazing. And then I love this feature too. The shaker is in the top. So I have a blender bottle that has the little ball shaker and it's kind of a pain. You have to wash it. You have to keep track of it. This way the shaker is right in the top. And I also like that the spout to drink out of is big enough. If you did want to put a straw in you guys, this is so nice. It's gorgeous. I love the pink color. I love the stainless steel. This to me right here is worth the box but we got some snacks now i will tell you i have had these before and it's been years and years so when i own my own coffee shop we actually sold these at my shop a couple of my shops were in ymca so they were in a gym environment people wanted a good quality ingredient protein rich snack before and after workout so we did sell a lot of these protein pucks so this one i've actually never seen this is a new one since i've had my shops it's been several years this has plant based protein. It is gluten free and vegan. This is the Maverick cocoa, cashews, cinnamon, peanut butter, and hemp seeds. So here are your ingredients. I remember these being super clean. Yeah, they're super clean ingredients. Now they are going to be a little bit point heavy and a little bit calorie heavy as well, because they are meant to be a meal replacement. So I will put points and calories on the screen for half of the puck, which by the way, a serving is half, not the whole puck and for the entire protein puck. And then this one is amazing. This is an OG. They've had this one forever. This is the peanut butter, almonds, cranberry, and oats. This one is really, really delicious as well. And again, nice, nice, clean ingredients. So this is nice to have. I'm excited. Now for me, I probably would only eat half at a time just due to the points and calories. But you guys, this is a clean, clean option for fuel before and after a workout. And then it looks like there is a protein bar as well. Oh, so last month I got the Grenade brand, the Nut Base Bar. That was amazing, by the way. This is the Grenade Carb Killa High Protein Bar in Birthday Cake. 20 grams of protein and only two grams of sugar. So I am gonna put points and calories here on the screen because again, I don't know right off the top of my head, but so far we have a shaker bottle. We have two protein pucks and a protein bar. And then every month, like I said, you do get a piece of workout clothing. Oh, it looks like it's white. Ooh, fun. Okay, so it comes in this nice resealable bag. 
I keep these because I use them for travel. They're great for the lake, the beach, for wet swimsuits, for dirty, gross, stinky workout clothes. So I just keep these in a drawer and that way I can reuse them. And it says, I'm here, let's work out. So let's pull out this month's workout gear. Oh my gosh, this shirt is so cute. So it's a t-shirt. It says, run it, run this, run that. So basically it is just a short sleeved t-shirt, but I do wanna flip it around and show you guys because on the back, it says run the world. So this is just an oversized tee. It is super soft. It is buttery soft. So this is the Hyper M, the women's oversized tee in white. So I am excited about this. I think it's super cute. It'll be great for working out, great for going on a walk, taking a spin class, going to jazzercise. So this is a $30 value. $25 value, so we're at 55. We used to sell these for $4 a piece at my coffee shop. They are a little bit pricey, and then a protein bar. So you can see that this box is well worth the $29.99 a month. Now I am going to link down below for you guys the link for the box to sign up for the subscription. Definitely do it, you will not be disappointed. And 20% off of the box, so it's even a better deal. I get excited every month when this box comes. This is one of my favorites. The only subscription services I have are the Miss Muscle Box, because I love this box, and Fat Fit Fun. So, yay! I'm excited to wear my shirt. I am stoked about my shaker and my snacks. So here is my lunch today. This looks so good. I'm super excited. I'm using up a few things, which makes me really, really happy. So I am making a wrap, and the base of my wrap, of course, is the Olay Extreme Wellness. I still have almost a full pack in my fridge, so I wanted to use one of those. And then I have three of the Cauliflower New Chick on the Block Spicy-ish Tenders. That uses up this bag, which is exciting. You could have three of these for three smart points. I love the Spicy-ish on my Jen salad, but I also thought it would be really good paired on this wrap because along with the new chick on the block spicy, I have one half of an ounce of the Trader Joe's crumbled blue cheese. So I thought that the mix of the blue cheese, the spicy chicken and the Olay wrap would make a really delicious flavorful wrap. Of course, I'm having more cantaloupe because it's amazing and I'm trying to use it up. I have some carrots and three tablespoons of Hope hummus, this is my favorite hummus. It actually expires today. It's a little over half gone, so I'm gonna do my best within the next couple of days to finish this up so as to not waste it. But I do have two smart points, which is three tablespoons. You actually get three tablespoons for two smart points of the Hope hummus. So my lunch is one for the tortilla, two for the blue cheese makes three, three for the chicken makes six, two for the hummus makes eight. Everything else is zero smart points. Just to let you know, I did air fry my chicken in my little Copper Chef air fryer. I get a ton of questions on this. I will link this down below for you guys. I just bought it off of Amazon and I love it. I use it all the time. So this is my lunch for today. So since I opened my Miss Muscle box, I've been thinking about this. I did already open it up so that I could show you guys what it looks like, but I've been thinking about this protein bar. Now I will tell you that it uses an oil I don't love. It also has natural and artificial flavors and it has sucralose, but I want to give it a try because with only two grams of sugar, I'm wondering how good can this possibly taste? So I'm going to have this for my afternoon snack. I'm going to show it to you guys. Let you know what I think. It is 6.220 calories. And then I'm also having a lemon spin drift. I've been editing. So this is going to be my afternoon snack. So the bar's cute. I have to say it has sprinkles. Here is what the inside texture looks like. So it has kind of a thicker top that's frosting like. I would say, and then it has like your traditional like kind of cookie texture bar. So on a scale of one to 10, I would give this about a five. Now I think that for the points, it's a good size bar. I don't love the ingredients and it does have a little bit of a weird aftertaste. It is pretty sweet considering there's two grams of sugar. So I am going to eat it because I don't want it to go to waste, but would I buy this? Would I pay for this bar? Probably not. So for dinner tonight, I am making honey garlic shrimp with rice. I will probably pair this with a veggie as well. I'm excited for this. We have two bags of shrimp in our freezer. So doing the use it up challenge, I wanna use one of those. And this dinner just sounds really delicious. So let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need minced garlic or fresh garlic, 
cornstarch or arrowroot powder. This is just a cleaner version of cornstarch, so I always use this. Soy sauce or coconut aminos, rice vinegar, and again, we are pairing ours with rice, so I'm using this Trader Joe's organic jasmine rice. Oil, I have avocado oil here. You can use fresh ginger or ginger paste, or in my case, I'm just going to use ginger spice. Raw honey, shrimp, this is my favorite shrimp, the private selection, red Argentinian extra large shrimp. It is so good, you guys, this is seriously the best shrimp, so I'm going to use that. I have salt and pepper here, and then a couple of fresh oranges. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is put together some sauce. So I ended up juicing both of the oranges here. You want about three quarters of a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. And then I zested here about a teaspoon of the orange zest. We're gonna set that aside. So in a bowl here, I have one tablespoon of water. I'm going to add that fresh orange juice. That, you guys, smells so good. And then to that, I'm going to do my rice wine vinegar. I have this organic rice wine vinegar. And last but not least, we are going to do one tablespoon of raw honey. And then I have my whisk here. We're just going to whisk this all together until fully combined. In this same small bowl that I have the orange juice, I'm going to put one tablespoon of cornstarch, or in my case, arrowroot powder. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. And then we are going to add one tablespoon of this orange honey soy mixture that we just did. So there's half and another half and then we're just going to stir this together basically this is going to form a roux the same as it would if we were using cornstarch we are going to put the roux in with the rest of the soy mixture that we did with the orange juice and stir that in and then we're going to whisk that once this becomes warm on the stove it will thicken up and make a nice thick sauce for our shrimp so I went ahead and put my shrimp here on a paper plate with a paper towel. You want your shrimp to be completely defrosted and then we are just going to pat it dry. We want to get it as dry as we can. My shrimp is pre-cooked. If you have raw shrimp, that's completely fine as well. It may actually even be better. I hear that it's less spongy when it's not pre-cooked, but I love this shrimp. It's our very, very favorite. So you just want to make sure regardless whether it's cooked or raw that you pat it as dry as you can. And we're going to get ready to put this onto a skillet. Before going into the skillet, I am going to just add a little bit of salt and pepper to my shrimp and just make sure that it does have, you know, some seasoning on it before we toss it into the skillet. I have one teaspoon of avocado oil warming up in a large skillet. Once it is really, really hot, I mean smoking hot, we're going to go ahead and add in our salt and peppered shrimp. If you are using raw shrimp, you want to pre-cook your shrimp and then put it on the plate and set it aside. Since my shrimp is already cooked, I'm going to add in my ginger and my garlic directly to the pan. You would do that separately and then reintroduce your shrimp. But again, since mine is pre-cooked, I'm going to just do it in one pan. So I am putting a huge scoop of minced garlic and then I am going to put about a teaspoon of ginger. And just so you know, I am omitting red pepper flakes because I don't like the spiciness. That is part of the original recipe. And of course, the original recipe will be on my website. Also part of the original recipe is to add scallions, AKA green onions. I don't have any of those, so I'm omitting those as well. So we are just going to do shrimp, garlic, and ginger. So I'm gonna let this cook down for just a couple of minutes. I just popped in my orange zest so you can see that there as well. I'm going to make sure that that has a chance to kind of meld that flavor in with the rest of the shrimp. And then I have my sauce here. We are just going to add this and that is going to be it, you guys. It's a very, very, very simple recipe. So let's add that in. Yum, and like I said, with the cornstarch or the arrowroot, in my case, when it 
comes in contact with heat, it thickens. You can see it's already starting to thicken. So that's going to make a delicious sauce for our shrimp. I am going to pop my microwavable Trader Joe's rice into the microwave for three minutes. I love it, it comes out perfect every single time. And then let's pick out a vegetable to have on the side. I decided on broccoli as the vegetable for tonight. I think it's going to pair really well with the shrimp. And we've got the bag of rice here in the microwave. I have one more bag so that we have some for leftovers. My shrimp is just set aside. Oh, you guys, I cannot wait for dinner. This is going to be so good. So here is dinner for tonight. I have one serving of the broccoli with a little bit of salt and pepper. Of course, that is zero points. And then I have half of a cup of the jasmine rice which is three smart points and then I topped it with one serving of the shrimp. So it makes four servings total. It is two points for just the shrimp without the rice on both the blue and purple plan and four points for just the shrimp on the green plan. Of course you would add in rice or anything else. You could use zero point rice on purple but for me this is three points for the rice, two points for the shrimp. This is a five smart point dinner. This is dessert tonight. I'm going to have the Smart Sweets peach rings. I've been on the watermelon kick, and so tonight I am filling the peach rings. You can have this entire bag for only three Smart Points with only three grams of sugar, and they are really, really good. So I'll put my code here on the screen for 10% off an order of $30 or more, and you cannot get the watermelon at the store. So if you're interested in those, you can only pick them up off of the Smart Sweets website. So this is dessert for three Smart Points. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you had so much fun today seeing all of the delicious food that I had and definitely check out my website for that dinner recipe. The link to my website is down in the description box below. Just hit that little drop down arrow and you'll see all the links to my favorite things as well as the link for the muscle box. You definitely want to get your hands on that and the link for my website as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. Again, we'd love to have you be part of our community over there. So head on over and join us. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss any further videos. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you next time. Bye.